Okay, here's my latest uh, little tricopter build. It's a uh, based off a of ZMR250 body. We've got a 3D printed yaw mechanism, an Emacs uh, analog servo. I could have gone digital, but that's what I had. And the whole purpose of this thing was to make a light, cheap tricopter out of spare parts. I had the uh, the uh, ZMR250 frame. I had an extra set of uh, helicopter landing gear, I had an extra one of these yaw mechanisms, I had some extra motors and props, so I just pretty much threw them together. The, I even had the uh, ESCs, and it's an old uh, CC3D flight controller. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's got swinging some 5-inch uh, uh, three-bladed props, and uh, let me see, I've got 12-amp ESCs hidden in the body. Nothing special, no 3D printed uh, spacers or anything like that. It makes this thing very, very light and agile. And the tests inside seem to point that it's a, a pretty good model. I mean, it's a, nothing special, nothing crazy, but it seems to perform good inside. And this is a maiden of how it's going to perform outside. Uh, let me see. I've got a Lemon RX uh, uh, receiver on the front. And is there anything else to note on this? Uh, other than I'm running a 1800 milliamp hour battery. And, of course, you see I've got a voltage alarm on there. Uh, nothing big on there. I wanted to go light. Uh, what I do want to point out while I have it turned over is I see a lot of people who bolt their uh, helicopter landing gear to the bottom of their quads. What I've done here is I've put it on some zip ties because it'll break, the zip ties will break before the helicopter landing gear breaks. And if you notice, I've repaired this gear right here. I put some epoxy and a piece of uh, thermoplastic over there to repair the crack. And it's really quite solid because I have it sandwiched between two pieces of, uh, actually it's ABS. So it's uh, repaired pretty strong. So and now it's uh, a workable uh, helicopter landing gear. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to bring this over to my uh, test area in the backyard and let's go. Okay, let's plug this bad boy in and see what we got. Okay, looks like we got some green lights. Good to go. Arming sequence sequence is yaw to the right and loaded and rolling. Let's just put on the right glasses. And there she is. Very nimble. Wow, very nimble. Because it's so light, I guess. Nice. I did adjust the PNIDs uh, after I tested it uh, in the house. So it seems like, and I got a little bit of a wag. If you look up, you can see it. Yeah, see it? So I'm gonna probably have to see it's got a little little bit of no shake. So as if it's saying no. It's got that little 12 volt light up front. It does make a difference for orientation. Let's see what kind of punch this thing's got. Not great. I really don't want to punch it too much in the backyard here. But it's nimble. It's fast. And it was made out of spare parts. So what can you say about that, you know? Let's see if we can punch it. Come on. Devil loves a coward. Not spectacular, but definitely not along the lines of my ZMR250.
Well, <laughs> that's one way to land. <laughs> yeah, I meant to keep the grass that high. Nice. Nice flying little tricopter. Part of the thing is I don't have a lot of room back here and there's so many obstacles. And I'm not brave enough to do a flip just yet. Back in a standard stabilization mode. A little bit close to the trees there. Fancy. I'd like to see what this thing does when I open it up. Oh, 30 second warning. And that's it.